What we're going to do in lesson 5.3 is we're going to estimate quotients uh, with decimals. So what we're going to do first is we're going to take a look at example like 28 and 8 tenths divided by 9. So we're taking 28 and 8 tenths and we're dividing into 9 groups, but we need to estimate this. Now we can't estimate the way we traditionally uh, estimate when we say we multiply when we round to the greatest place for each number. Because if we rounded 28 to, let's say, 30, we would not be able to uh, divide 30 and 9 equally. So what we do when we divide and estimate is we use something called compatible numbers, uh, which we did in Chapter 2. Uh, since 9 and 28 are not compatible, we need to find a multiple of 9 that is compatible uh, with a number that's very close to 28. And if you think of your multiples of 9, 9, 18, 27, we could round 28 to a 27 and take that 27 then divide it by 9 and we could get an estimated answer of 3. The decimal doesn't matter so much because what we're really focusing on is the whole number part of, the, uh, of that number. So if we had 28 uh, and 8 tenths, we would really round that 28 and 8 tenths to a 27. Now it's compatible with the 9. We could divide it equally, and we'll have an estimated answer of 3. Another example would be this. If we had 16 and 2 tenths being divided by, let's say, 4, well... 4 and 16 are compatible as is. So I would keep that 16 as a 16, drop the decimal, divide it by 4, and my estimated answer would be 4. Now let's say I had an example like this. 161 and 7 tenths divided by 7. Well, if I'm estimating... I'm not worrying so much about the decimal part of it. I'm going to look at it as if it's 161. Now, we're not really expected to know uh, 7 times what number would get, get us 161, but if we look at these first two numbers in 161, and we think of a multiple of 7 that's close to those first two numbers, uh, that could, help us, that could help us round this 161. Because I know my multiples of 7, that 14 is awfully close to 16. So instead of rounding 100, 161 to just 6 to 14, I'm going to round it to 140. And now that I've rounded that to 140, I can divide this equally and not have any remainder. 14 divided by 7 is 2. There's a zero left over, so my estimated answer could be 20. Another example here, we have 465 and 3 tenths divided by 8, and if we're estimating, I'm not worried so much about that decimal, I look at my 8 and I think of a multiple of 8 that can be compatible with a number that is close to that 46. So if I think of my multiples of 8, 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48. I could see I could round this to a 48, but really I'm going to round it to 480 because I'm not going to change a 465 to 48. So I'm going to round the 465 to 480. And now I can divide 480 divided by 8, which would give me 60. 48 divided by 8 is 6, 0 gets added on to the number. Here's one last example, and it's a little different than the other examples because this divisor here is two digits. Now, when that divisor is two digits, there is an extra step that we need to do. We need to make sure that if this divisor is two digits, we need to round that divisor, uh, and we'll round it to its greatest place, which is 40. Then as we did before, what we want to do is we want to look at really this first number, not so much this zero right now. Look at that number four and figure out what multiple of four would be really close to that 15 that's in the front of 157. Now, if we go through our multiples of four, the closest multiple of four 
to 15 would be 16. So we could round 157 to a 160. And now we could divide. 16 divided by 4 equals 4. But unlike what we did when we multiplied uh, numbers that were a power of 10, these zeros will not get added onto our answer. When we're dividing, these zeros cancel each other out, and we're left with an answer of four holes as our estimated answer. If you want to practice one on your own, hit the pause button and try to solve 394 and 8 tenths divided by 7 by figuring out the estimated answer. So if you solve this, what would happen is we would keep the 7 as is, and we would figure out what multiple of 7 would be close to that 39. Since we're estimating, we're going to ignore that decimal portion of the number, and we would find that uh, we could round 39 to a 35, but would really round it to a 350 since it was 394 and we would get an estimated answer of 50. That's how we can use estimating when we are um, dividing with decimals.